Welcome to another episode of The Brain brought to you by Press Express. This is your host, Masuma Rahman Nabila. While I am talking to you right now, about 5,405 kilometers away, millions of Palestinian people are now fighting against Israeli military machines for their lives, their land, and peaceful future. On 7th October 2023, Israel declared war on the Gaza Strip after an unprecedented attack by the armed Palestinian group Hamas causing thousands of casualties on both sides. The Israel, we are in war. Not in the war, not in the war, in the war. In the last 75 years of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, many have lost their lives and many have been displaced from their roots due to a colonial act that was carried out more than a century ago. But what unfolds in the coming days and weeks has its seeds sown in history. It all began when Britain's then Foreign Secretary Arthur Balfour wrote a letter to Lionel Walter Rothschild, a figurehead of the British Jewish community in 1917. Before the Balfour Declaration, Palestine had the majority of Arab settlers. In 1930, the escalating tensions between Muslims and Jewish in Palestine eventually led to the Arab Revolt causing 5,000 Palestinian deaths. To resort to the revolt in 1947, the United Nations adopted Resolution 181, which called for the partition of Palestine into independent Arab and Jewish state and was supposed to end the British mandate. With countless Zionist attacks, more than 500 Palestinian villages, towns and cities were destroyed causing an estimated death of 15,000 Palestinians within 1949, what Palestinians refer to as the Nagba or catastrophe in Arabic. The Zionist movement captured 78% of historic Palestine. The remaining 22% was divided into what are now the occupied West Bank and the besieged Gaza Strip and about 750,000 Palestinians were forced out of their homes. In 1950, Egypt took over the Gaza Strip and Jordan began its administrative rule over the West Bank. Later in 1964, finally the Palestinian Liberation Organization PLO was formed and a year later the Fatah political party was established. Soon after, Israel occupied the rest of historic Palestine, including the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, East Jerusalem, the Syrian Golan Heights, and the Egyptian Sinai Peninsula during the Six-Day War against a coalition of Arab armies on 5th June 1967. This Six-Day War was the second forced displacement for Palestinians or Naqsa, which means setback in Arab after 20 years of Naqsa in 1988. The Arab League recognizes the PLO as the sole representative of the Palestinian people. The relationship between Bangladesh and Palestine can be traced as far back fight for liberation in 1971 for the recognition of the newly established Bangladesh. The first high-level meeting between the two countries took place in 1974 at the second OIC summit between Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and Yasser Arafat of PLO. Moreover, currently Palestine is represented in Bangladesh by the Embassy of the State of Palestine in Dhaka as a hallmark of Bangladesh's firm stand for Palestine. In November of 1988, Bangladesh and 137 countries to recognize Palestine as an independent state. 
The letters of mutual recognition were exchanged between the Israel and the Palestine Liberation Organization on 9 September 1993 under UNSC Resolution 242 and UNSC Resolution 338. From 1971 till today, the PLO recognized Israel based on a two-state solution. Palestine faced the second intifada and the death of PLO leader Yasser Arafat in 2004. In 2005, a one-month Fatah-Hamas civil war broke out and Hamas successfully expelled Fatah from the Gaza Strip. And Fatah, the main party of the Palestinian Authority, resumed control of parts of the West Bank. Since 2005, Israel launched four protected military assaults on Gaza where thousands of Palestinians have been killed. Amidst these, even Palestine attempted a few counter chases for survival. And the series of Israel attacks remained unwavering even during the pandemic. After Bongo Bundhu, his daughter Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is now following his pathos. Bangladesh. As of December 2020, 165 of the 193 total member states of the United Nations recognize Israel as a country. But Bangladesh, Malaysia, North Korea and 25 other countries did not recognize Israel as an individual state. Philistine Janagan Rodikar Adair Lakhe, Abade Pochesta of Bauto Thagbe, Bangladesh, Philistine Pashi, Shop Shomayate, Bobishoto Thagbe. After the recent escalation of the conflict on 7th October, when Israel declared for a widespread ground attack, Bangladesh's Foreign Minister, A.K. Abdul Momin, cleared Bangladesh's stance on the Israel-Palestine conflict and the two-state resolution. Students, I'm a Sharajibuni, Manusher Mongol Chai, Manobodi Karte. Philistine Rook, a Bochor Bochor Dore, right to Potatin, Tatu Bochor Dore, Tarani Jati Tofuchi. I'm a Shoshame Tadir Poki. I'm a Jati Peta Bangamondo Tadir Poki Chile, Maronio Pradhan Monti Tadir Poki Achet, eight am at their principal position. Bangladesh believes that Israel is violating the UN provisions of human rights. Kichuruker Jones Harad collective punishment is not desirable. Pani, Etarpure Oshud, Khabardar, Bondokara, Eta is not acceptable. Egulu, Manubikotar, Emane Longon, Ebon Amra Monikuri. Two state solution is the only solution. Yet a UN Barbar Kikorechi resolution 242 and 338, Ermadome Stai Shamadan Shambo. It also should be mentioned that Bangladesh does not accept Israeli passports and does not allow Bangladeshis to travel to Israel with Bangladeshi passports. Not only Israel-Palestine, Bangladesh advocates for global peace in general under its foreign policy of friendship to all, malice to none. Because every life matters. I want to say that I am going 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 to say that ইতিমধ্যে এক যুদ্ধ থামতে না থামতে আপনারা দেখেছেন এখন ইসরায়েল যেভাবে আমাদের প্যালেস্টাইনিদের উপরে অত্যাচার শুরু করেছে ইতিমধ্যে তাদের অনেক জায়গা তো দখলই করে ফেলেছে আর এখন তো সেটা একটা অবরুদ্ধ অবস্থা আমার অনুরোধ থাকবে আন্তর্জাতিক পর্যায়ে যে এগুলি বন্ধ করতে হবে এই যুদ্ধ বন্ধ না করতে পারলে আর এইভাবে অস্ত্রের খেলা বন্ধ না করতে পারলে আসলে সাধারণ মানুষই কষ্ট ভোগ করে যুদ্ধ বন্ধ করার জন্যই আমি আহ্বান জানাই বরং এই অস্ত্র বানানো আর অস্ত্র প্রতিযোগিতায় যে অর্থ ব্যয় হয় সেই অর্থ সারা বিশ্বের শিশুদের খাদ্য স্বাস্থ্য এবং তাদের উন্নয়নের জন্য ব্যয় করা হোক সেটাই আমাদের দাবি আমরা সেটাই চাই